would be prime time for unhealthy eating habits. According to a new survey, two thirds of people say they overeat during the holidays with close to half saying they skip exercise. All of these foods are so what we call hyper palatable, meaning they taste so good you can't stop eating them. So I like to recommend that people drink water before their meal and throughout the meal, which takes up some room in your stomach. Focus on eating those dishes that have fruits and vegetables because that's fiber, right? Fills you up without filling you up with a, a lot of calories. Dr. Nate Wood is both a physician and a chef. He says that trying to eat healthier around the holidays is not just about how much you're eating, it's also about how these classic holiday foods are prepared. There are ways to make them healthier. Take mashed potatoes, for example. So if you mash them and then add a whole bunch of butter, a whole bunch of heavy cream, probably not the healthiest, right? But instead, what you can do is add a little bit of Greek yogurt, fat-free, which is tangy and creamy, but doesn't add all that fat. And you can't have mashed potatoes without the gravy. Try not to use um, a bouillon or soup base. It's very, very high in salt. Instead, make your own. And what about the age-old debate of ham versus turkey? Dr. Wood says there's a clear and healthy choice. This one's actually pretty easy because ham is a cured meat, um, and cured meats have been um, classified at least since 2015 as being carcinogenic, these processed meats, right? So they're linked to colon cancer. Turkey, however, is a lean white meat. Don't deep fry it, but otherwise that's probably the healthier option. Regardless of your recipe? The goal is to savor time with family and friends. So chew your food slowly, enjoy family recipes whether they're extremely healthy or not when you're interested in doing so take some shortcuts and, and make some substitutions to make your food healthier morgan norwood abc news